Hey guys, what's up? It's Butterbs44 and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your condenser microphone to a Phantom Power Box. Um, and I'm also going to show you the test between without a Phantom Power Box and with a Phantom Power Box. So let's go ahead and get into this. So right here we've got the Nady Audio S SMPS. Um, and this is 48 volts, so, um, yeah. I just got that in the mail today, and I did an unboxing, so if you guys want to see that, I'll put that somewhere. But, um, yeah. So, what you guys need is you need a XLR cable that has a male and female output and input, or I should say input and output, yeah. Sure. And then you also need the um, XCLR cable into a 3.5 centimeter jack or millimeter jack. Um, so what you want to do is, hang on, let me just get rid of this bundle here. Is first we should probably put the power into the box. So that means that we had to unplug this. Or plug this, not unplug, because it's already... Yeah, yeah okay. Um, but you got to plug this into the little 18 VAC. Yeah, right there. And then you have to plug this into um, a outlet. So I'll do that later. I'll just put it over here for now. Um, and then what you want to do... is you want to take your because this is going to connect to the microphone so let's connect the microphone first um, so like I said this is the BM700 if I didn't say that I don't know and looks like this is the out input for it is that correct? yes that is ok so now let's just slide this in like that Alright, so now it's connected like that to the microphone. So now we'll take the, I believe it's the male output, I don't remember exactly, and we'll put it to the mic in. Um, and that'll connect the mic into this box. So we'll pop in. And then now we take this cord which is the XLR into a 3.5 jack. So I'm going to take that, we'll put it in to this output position right here. Okay. And now we'll plug this into our computer. Like that. So now we have everything plugged in, so we have two XLR cables, um, one that goes into the microphone, oops, sorry, just knocked the camera, um, one that goes into the microphone right here, and then one that goes into our computer to record the gameplay, or any, any speaking thing. So now I'm just going to set up everything, make sure it doesn't look like this terrible mess, put it all behind the desk and everything, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now I put everything back onto my desk, so what I have here is I have the um, microphone connected from this to, to my laptop, and um, as you can see it turned on as a blue light as soon as I plugged it in, and what I did is I plugged it in down here, um, all the wires are back here somewhere, and just very messy, but I guess that's okay because no one will really look back there. But um, the the plug-in that I figured out, it's a little cheap because um, it's a lot more gooey um, right here, and this is just like weird metal. 
but I'm not complaining, it still works, and if you want to turn it on, you just go like that, um, and I believe that it, um, so what it does, um, I should explain, what it does is the phantom power goes into the microphone, which then charges the condenser microphone, because it's a condenser microphone, so it needs power, it doesn't come with its own, so, um, what I did was, you take the 48 volts, which it needs, to make sure that it gets the best audio it can, and then it'll go right into your computer the same as it used as it used to. So, now I'm going to go ahead and do the rev uh, the test um, between not using Phantom Power and using Phantom Power. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. Um, so this is the test between using phantom power with the BM700 or any condenser microphone um, I think uh, and not using it so right now I'm using the rover beats that I got um, a few months ago and so uh, I'm gonna switch over to the BM700 without the phantom power so here you go alright guys so now I am on the BM700 not connected to phantom power and I'm really close to it. I'm probably like three inches away. Um, now I'm gonna start backing up, and as you can see, it's not like very good. I can I'm talking the same as I did when I was closer to it, and you can probably ne not hear me that well or not hear me at all. Um, so now I'm, I'm gonna come closer. But, uh, now I'm gonna switch over to the BM700 with uh, Phantom Power, and this is 48 volts and so let's go to do it right now. Alright guys, so now the BM700 is connected to phantom power. Um, and uh, I, I'm three inches away, just like I was. And um, it should be a lot louder and clearer. And now I'm going to start backing up. And I'm talking the same as I usually do. And I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, that it's better than without it. But I just wanted to show you the difference, because technically, when I was looking at it, I was um, deciding if I wanted a condenser microphone. Um, I decided yes, and I could do it without um, the phantom power, but it's um, worse audio and everything like that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, for this video, sorry. And if you enjoyed, please click on the like button. And if it was informational to you, uh, again, click on the like button and subscribe to see more, like, reviews. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!